I'm going to be showing you how to get a bunch of models and assets for your game for completely free. Let's get right into this. So first off, what you want to do is go to itch.io. Also, this video is not sponsored. This is just a really good website to get free models. So what you want to do is go to browse games and just go to assets right over here. And then depending on your game, you can sort by which assets you need. For most Roblox games, you're probably going to be using 3D assets. So click on 3D right here and then it'll pop up with a bunch of things to get free assets. Some of them you do have to pay for, but most of them are free. So if you're going to take a look, we have like this one right here. So if you're making a mining game, you can get all of these assets right here for completely free. And look at these. These are like chests. These are professionally made assets. And you can get them for completely free. So just if we want these ones right here, we just click download. You have an option to leave a tip, which I highly recommend. But technically, you don't have to leave a tip. You can click no thanks. And then boom, right here are all of our assets. So let's go and download those. And once you click download, it should download. Don't don't click this button. This button is just an ad right here. Don't click this one. Once you click the red download button, it should automatically download. And then it will also recommend more down here. Like this person right here, Kay Luzberg, actually created a bunch of them. So there's like this one right here, a forest one. So we can get these for some nice trees, some nice rocks, and some other stuff. Also, if you do want more for this, you can also scroll down because this person actually offers extra stuff. So we can pay $10 to get that. And then we can pay $15 for the source file. So that's like the dot blend file. So we can modify them inside blender or if that's just not your type you can keep looking so right here we have like a platform builder down here we have like some medieval stuff down here we have characters desert also whenever you are downloading these if you're using them for a roblox game make sure they aren't like too too detailed because if you download like a very high detailed one it might have like a hundred thousand triangles and i believe the limit for roblox is like 10 to fifteen thousand. and also you of course don't want your game slag but like right here we have a space base we have halloween decorations we have cars you can just keep going through this and look for the style that you want. Because obviously this is kind of like low poly. There's another one right here. Boom. We can also get icon packs. So this one is actually a free icon pack. Then there's even more right here. There's another dungeon pack where it has everything you need. And also this person right here is also on it. Raihos, R-H-O-S. Look him up. This is where like half the games on Roblox get their icons from. Because his icon pack right here, $20. If you go ahead and check this out, you'll probably recognize like half of these. Because like half the games on Roblox uses this person's icons now. So these are actually the vectors I use for my Roblox games. So if you want vectors, then I highly recommend checking out this dude's icon pack. Because it's like 3,000 icons, as it says right there. But anyway, once you have your assets, all you have to do is hop back in Roblox. Go down to File, click Import 3D. And I forgot, it does come in a zip folder, so you do actually have to extract it first. But anyway, here we go. Here are all the assets we want. We can choose from these ones, like OPJ, FBX. And I'm just going to do the FBX ones, because those are the ones I like the most. OPJ would probably work fine. But I usually import things in FBX. So let's hold down Shift, select all of those, click Open. And then it will go ahead and import them for us right here and then we just click import and now it will slowly import all of them they may import as like super large but we can always just scale them down and there we go they're all imported so let's go ahead and close this and now let's zoom out and yeah these are massive and i can't even tell which from which so let me go ahead and quickly select all this, move that to the side, and then highlight all of this stuff. Just because it's so massive, we are going to have to scale it down. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and scale it. And now we can organize this. I'm not really going to organize it. I'm just going to toss it all down just so it's not all stacked up. Yeah, look at all these free assets we just got. This is like a crazy amount. You can probably import them better so they're not all stacked on top of each other like this. But just look at these. So depending on what type of game you make, these might be super helpful or they might not. These would probably be helpful for the types of games I make because this is kind of the style that I like because it's kind of cartoony which is basically what I aim for in most of my games. So anyway, we can go ahead and take all this stuff down. And here we go. Here are all the assets we just got. Let me go ahead and organize them real quick. And just like that, I quickly organized them. So over here, we have the gold, the iron. I actually don't even know the difference between these two, but they're different colored. We have like iron, silver, copper, gold, a bunch of rocks. And we also, have, of course, have them in multiple different forms just to make multiple different things, multiple different colored gas canisters. Same with barrels. And then, of course, we have all these logs over here. We have even more stacks we have wood planks and yeah we have all of this stuff and we can combine this stuff with other asset packs to make even better things because of course these are just the items we're gonna need some stuff to actually make all the places so we probably combine these with a different asset pack such as if we're making an outside place we can combine it with this one over here with all these trees and stuff because they're kind of like the same style as well and all of this was free and also speaking of making a map let me go ahead and speed on a map real quick and i didn't finish my map just yet but this is how it's looking so far so it's pretty simple 
example, I didn't quite finish placing all the trees. It's still quite plain, but basically there was going to be like this entire map over here. And then the player would go up this area right here. They can jump on the little log keep climbing and eventually they would reach like a snow area also all the assets i showed in the beginning were free but i did buy the ten dollar pack just so i get these little pieces right here because you get all this other stuff for free but you get these pieces right here if you do buy the pack so that's just what i did just so i could go ahead and slowly build it up but if you're looking for land pieces you could probably find them in a free pack as well also one thing you do want to remember when getting these packs is sometimes meshes have like this weird invisible border and let me show you real quick so i'll go ahead and play right here and as we can see everything's looking good and fine like we can go ahead and jump on all of these parts but for an example if we try to walk up to this mountain we'll hit like a weird invisible border so as we can see there's this weird invisible border right here and that's just because all these parts right here are in one mesh so since like this part's right there and that part's right there it for some reason creates like an invisible border right here so that is something that happens it doesn't really happen with pieces like this just since this is a square so it's like invisible border box is pretty much a square so we don't need to worry about that but it can cause big issues such as this like we're trying to climb up the mountain but these rocks right here are creating like invisible borders and a common way people fix that is they export things in different parts so it kind of happens with this tree right here so since the tree is kind of like this it creates an invisible border that's like right here so if i try walking underneath it as we see it won't let us in a common way games fix that is they export the leaves and the branch as like two separate models so like each leaf right here like one two three those would each be its own mesh and then they would export the trunk right here as its own mesh and then they would just put in one model so then this doesn't happen but if you click on it and open up the model, as we can see, it's all just one mesh. So it creates kind of invisible borders. But that's not really going to happen with small meshes. So over here, it's not really going to happen with any of these. It's just if you scale them up to large sizes like this, that may cause some issues. And if you tried everything and you just can't fix this problem, and if it's really bugging you, some things that you can do is you can go to your model and under this setting right here, render fidelity or whatever that says, you can go ahead and change it to precise. This might help it a little bit, not very much though. But what we can do for trees such as this one, we can go to the mesh and we can change it so it can collide as all. But if we want the person to still like come in contact with the tree, we can add a part. And in this example, we'll probably want to add a cylinder. So we can grab the cylinder, go up here, and we can just size it to the trunk of the tree. So for an example, we can just do this this scale it down a little bit then we can scale it up and this would work just fine it's not exact but you don't really need it to be exact then we can anchor it change the transparency to one just so we can't see it and then we can just group it with the tree so let's select that in the tree click g and now if we play right here if we go up to the tree as we can see we can kind of rub against it now but if we jump we actually won't come in contact with it so that kind of fixes the issue which i mean we are able to like jump on top of it like that which i actually kind of like because it makes it look like we're actually hiding in the tree but to fix that you can always just make the cylinder taller and also this may seem like a pain at first but just do this before you start building your map because we can do that for every tree right now before we start building our map and then we can just copy and paste the tree so if i do this and i just put that tree right there this tree is already fixed because if you go ahead and take a look at it it already has the cylinder inside of it and the tree is already can collide off it may be a little bit more annoying for blocks such as these but if you really want to you can go in with blocks like this and just kind of outline it such as this wall right here we can just set it against it we can make this bigger just like that put it right against it change the transparency to one and then for this rock right here we can turn can collide off which we actually have to go to the mesh itself so let's turn can collide off and now if we play right here and if we run up to the rock as we can see it no longer has that weird mesh stuff and we can no longer interact with it so that is a fix it may seem quite annoying at first but just do that for like the rocks and stuff that you're planning on using before you actually start building your map and it will be much much easier anyway that's how you get free assets for your roblox game if this video helped you out please make sure to smash that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next video.